This project is for uh, Jason and Brady Nearman. They're located in the Waterstone community in Frisco. The project started with us laying about 750 square feet of stamped concrete. Uh, we also added a 18 by 18 gable patio cover, solid roof cover. Both of the external posts are wrapped in a 30 inch high stone boot and that stone is the matching veneer for the matching outdoor kitchen that we built for it. That's an L-shaped outdoor kitchen with a 42 inch raised backsplash area for bar seating. Inside the kitchen we put a wood pellet smoker made by Traeger. The patio furniture that you see in front of you is manufactured by Somerset. That style is the Sahara model and the table is a 7 foot rectangular table. We added an 18 inch high seat wall. We included some low voltage lighting on the inside of the two posts. We actually added a spotlight directly over the grilling area and we ran an electrical for the ceiling fan. Let's go see how this project was put together. The first thing that we had to do with this project was actually create the shape and contour of our expanded concrete. Uh, once the framing was in, which gave us that base and that foundation for our concrete patio. What we then did is lay down the rebar. Um, that rebar makes sure that there's no shifting or cracking, makes the concrete as uh, strong as possible. Um, after the rebar is laid, we came in and, and actually poured the physical concrete. Now, for this particular stamp concrete application, what we did is we used a rock formation stamp. We uh, took a piece of uh, rubber stamp and actually individually pounded out the grout lines and individual rock formations for this particular pattern. Uh, there's several other stamps available and several other patterns. Uh, this client decided to use the uh, rock formation stamp with a uh, relatively thin grout line to create his own unique pattern. While we were pouring the concrete, it was really important that we needed to get the framing and the structural integrity of this patio cover at the same time. So what we were doing is we actually anchored in our patio cover post. This is an 8x8 post and we anchored it in with an 18 inch pier and uh, drove that directly through the drying concrete. So once the posts are set and the framing was done for the patio cover, then the finish out comes. And what we actually did, customer had a little bit of an, a cutout here due to a interior fireplace. So we trimmed out and veneered with our fascia board to hide the existing roof line and tie in all of the materials together with a fully enclosed patio. Now that our concrete has been dry for about two to three days, it's time to start veneering the kitchen. Now what we did is we actually use a cinder block framing on the back side of this stone. That cinder block creates the support and the strength needed to hold up this stone veneer as well as our two inch looters countertop. The whole back side of the kitchen island is wrapped in a cinder block framing and once the framing has a, the opportunity to set for a day or so, that's when we come back and we do our custom hand cut stone and veneer the whole face of the kitchen. Once the kitchen is framed in and the stone and the veneer is completely dry, the last piece of that is fitting the countertops, which uh, this particular kitchen, we used a two inch thick looter slab countertop and we added a little color, a little stain, a little bit of release to it to give it a, a nice color that blends in with the Oklahoma stone that we used. Well now that we have our kitchen framed in and the countertops are set, it's time to pick out the equipment. So many choices when it comes to functionality of outdoor kitchens, from refrigerators to storage drawers, but the most important piece is the grill. This outdoor kitchen we featured a Traeger wood pellet smoker. Traeger is a made in the USA brand. This model is the Barbecue 124. 24 inches by 22 inches of cooking space. And this is your true offset smoker. Firebox located below our grate and our drip pan. Heat source is in the form of a compressed sawdust wood pellet. Below this there is an electric auger that feeds in these wood pellets at an appropriate speed which translates into the corresponding temperature. That auger feeds these pellets into the firebox which then creates the smoke and the heat while cooking our food. Now that we had a look through the design and the construction process for the Nearman job, this is just one of many examples of the environments that Premier Grilling can create for you. Feel free to stop by our showroom located at 7776 West Main Street in Frisco or check out our website at www.premiergrilling.com. Thank you for choosing Premier Grilling, your outdoor kitchen experts.